Hello, YouTubers. It's due time. I gave an update on the Proto Throttle that is made by Iowa Scaled Engineering. I picked this up at the Cocoa Beach train show in January of this year. A guy, Michael Peterson from the company, was there. They're awesome. Great guys. They're really good with technical support. It's a relatively easy product to use and to set up, uh, but if you need their help, they're, they're great. Uh, I have NCE DCC, so I have a power cab, and then further down the layout, I have a second handheld cab. So it will work with NCE. It works with other systems as well. Um, I'm not sure, but on their website, you can, you can sort that out. And their instructions are pretty easy to follow. Uh, to set it up, since PowerCab is not wireless, this is wireless. You put in a receiver, which is a separate part, but it simply plugs into the back of this PowerCab plug in the back there. So you just plug and play, literally. You put it in there, it starts communicating with the prototype. And then the only thing you, you, you need to do is to go in here and set um, if your, let's say for example, your brake is normally a nine on the power cab, you can tell this system that nine is brake and so forth. So you could make sure that the settings are matching or corresponding to the way your decoders are set up with your DCC program. And that's pretty simple to do. It's in the instructions. So let me show you how I wired it up before we get into how the thing works. If you get in here, you can see that what looks like a Christmas tree is the receiver module. And that's also an Iowa scaled engineering part. And you can see that it just has a LAN that plugs into the back of that power cab strip that I showed you, which is right up here. So you simply plug it in and boom, it powers on and it starts communicating. Okay, now a closer look at the proto throttle. It's set up to look like the inside of a locomotive cab, obviously. You've got the horn, you've got a throttle with eight notches, you've got a reversing lever with a neutral forward and reverse, you've got a brake, you've got a bell, and you've got the rear and front lights. It's really well made. It's an aluminum plate on the front. It's got some heft to it. It's not too heavy, um, not too big, not too small. I think it's just right. And the holster you see is also an Iowa scaled engineering product. It's 3D printed. You can operate this holding it. It comes with a nice beefy lanyard so you don't drop it, break it. I prefer to use the, the holsters. So I've got one here, I've got one in the middle, and then I've got one down at the far end. So depending on where I'm doing most of my operations, I'll just plop that throttle in the holster. And that's pretty convenient. So let's talk about how this actually works to operate the trains. Okay, to turn it on, you simply hit that top left black button. You'll see it powers on. It has it has batteries. They've lasted quite a bit for me, so I'm not sure what the lifespan is, but so far so good. That blinking green light means it's communicating and on. And you can see on the, L the LCD screen, it's showing 2007, which is my EMD. You can toggle between engines. You hit that top left button three times, one, two, three. You'll see 2007 shows up. I can then toggle down, and that's 2203, which is my GE, which is sitting over there in the fueling pad. But I want to go back to 2007, because that's the one we're going to demo. So then you hit the bottom left, confirm load, bottom right. That loads up that engine. Now to start the engine, I hit that top left again, and then I hit the top right. Clear. Horn. Bell. Lights. I'll show you the front lights. The back is the same. Depending on your decoder. So these are 
Woke Sound V5 that I had done at EWMRR installed for me recently. And if you go to his channel, you'll see the install. He did a great job filming the entire thing. So if I turn this switch here, I've got dim, bright, and ditch lights. So depending on your decoder and whether or not you have ditch lights, in my case, I can do the dim and I can do the ditch lights. So I put it on dim, and I'm not sure if the camera picks it up well, but that's on dim. Click it again, run bright. Look at a third time, we got ditch lights. Wait, we gotta put it in forward, and the ditch lights will go on. It's in neutral. So we put it in forward, just like a real locomotive forward is gonna be in that orientation. You can actually program it so that you reverse the order of the reversing lever, but I like the prototypical setting. So now that it's in forward, let's do that again. I'll flip on the ditch lights. Boom, they go on. You get the horn, they should blink. All right, so pretty straightforward. Very cool because it's as if you're actually operating. And a lot of the realism comes from this controller, but you also gotta make sure that what's programmed into your decoder, and Don's helping quite a bit with that, is the way you want it to be. So how much momentum, how much coasting before you have to break. You gotta kinda find that optimal balance between your decoder setting and how this works. So I like to have some coasting so that when I'm going to a couple cars, I can just pop it in neutral, get a little coast, and then pop, just use the brake to slow it down to get a good hitch without smashing into the cars. So let's do some operations with this proto throttle and you can see how, how nicely it works. So there you have it, the Proto Throttle by Iowa Scale Engineering. Absolutely an investment, I think, that's worth every penny. If you have any comments or thoughts, please go ahead and leave them. And as always, like and subscribe.